Welcome to another shave here on the Soap Thing Project. In this video, I'm going to use Leah shaving soap. This is a hard puck, non-tallow based soap. Here is the puck right here. It's been sitting on my countertop. As you can see, it is quite the hard puck of soap. It's non-tallow based. Uh, lanolin and glycerin is about all the uh, interesting stuff that's in it. A little bit of menthol. This soap has been in my collection, in my shaved in, since the very beginning, since I first started wet shaving. I suppose it's not the technically the first shaving soap I've ever used. That honor goes to Knight's Bridge Signature. And that soap, what's the best way to describe it? It sucks. All right, if you ever have a chance to use Knight's Bridge Signature, go ahead and pass on it. In hindsight, I think I'd rather put my face in a log splitter than shave my face with uh, with that stuff. But Leah was number two. About three months after I discovered wet shaving, I deployed to uh, southern Spain for six months and discovered this stuff right away. So that's the soap we're going to use today. I got the matching aftershave. We'll talk about the scent of both of these a little bit during the shave. I've talked about it before, but we'll talk about it again. The razor is going to be the Razor Rock Super Slant with the Super Halo handle. I didn't do a very good job of explaining this the first time, but to be honest with you, there's a lot going on. It's a uh, slant razor, obviously, that has oodles of different plates that you can pick. Mine just happens to be the level 2. They have like a level 1, and then a level 1 plus, and then a level 1 plus plus, and then a level 1 open comb. And then level 2 and 3 have all the same subplates. So there's quite a lot of plates to dial this thing in. I suppose they said that the uh, Razor Rock Wonder Bar is roughly the same as about a level 3. So this is supposed to be on paper more mild than the Razor Rock Wonder Bar, but it's significantly more blade feely. Uh, the Wonder Bar has kind of this sneaky aggressiveness. It'll cut you if you're not being careful. This one is quite loud in the uh, in the blade field department, so it'll let you know that you need to be careful. And because it lets you know that you need to be careful, I'm going to use a mild blade. I figured that is the best way to, to proceed with this and the few shaves I've had with it. I'm going to use a Lord Platinum blade for the shave today. That's the blade. And the brush is going to be this Rudy Vey brush that I uh, is new to my shave den. It's kind of an indigo blue and gold 22 millimeter uh, Mula synthetic. All right, let's do it. Okay, got the Leah shaving soap puck lathered up here. I did use a, uh, a synthetic brush. However, I will say if you want to get the most out of the Leah shaving soap, you should probably use a badger brush just because of the scritch will get you a, a little bit of a richer lather but here it is right here on the tip of the brush i'm going to wet my face and then use this extra as kind of a proto lather pre-shave i guess i'm not really a believer in pre-shaves but I may as well wipe it on my face as opposed to washing it down the sink It does say it has menthol in it, but to be honest with you, there's not enough menthol to really cause much of anybody any problems unless you have severe skin issues. This shouldn't be too much of a problem for you. Scent strength on it is average. I'd say it's about a 3 out of 5 on the sniffometer. And that's uh, after leaving the puck just sitting out in the open, in the open air. It's not even in a container. And it retains its scent and its scent strength, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. Add a little bit of water. A 
when you first start lathering this, it comes out kind of kind of foamy, but you just got to work at it, and you particularly have to work at it fairly hard if you're using a synthetic brush. Like I said, the scritchiness of a of a badger brush would probably do a better job of uh, of getting some richness out of the soap faster. Okay, let's take this Lord Platinum blade and put it in the razor. I forgot to do that. Now, when you're inserting a blade into a uh, a razor that's this uh, that has the the blade bent at such an angle, I will tend to press it together as much as I can. Goodness, and then hold it tight, and then screw the handle on because it's not good for the threads for you to screw a handle on a razor like that under such tension. So. Something I've learned over the years of doing this. Okay, let's have a shave and see how it goes. The last one that I had on video was kind of rough only because I, I kind of got too cocky and did a third pass. So I think if I had done only two, it would have been fine. All right, here we go. Ooh wee, blade feely, but in a somewhat forgiving way. You can definitely do damage with this, but you gotta try just a little bit. What's the scent on Leah shaving soap? Well, sandalwood and oak moss. That's about it. It is slightly medicinal smelling. Not gonna lie. But it's not bad. And for a woody scent, it's not particularly uh, dark. It's not an overt winter scent. It's pretty multi-seasonal. You can use this scent pretty much anytime you want. And it's not gonna smell out of place. Okay. Is it the best smelling? No. Is it the best lathering? No. But it, it works. It just works. And it works good enough that if I were going to retire myself from this hobby, which is not outside of the realm of possibility, the way I currently feel about it, uh, and I were going to go to just one shaving soap, and that was it, and this would probably be it, so. Just because it's good enough. It gets to, to where a lot of artisans are making soap that is uh, just honestly better than it needs to be, and yet they continue to try so hard to make it even better. And then as a result, people think they need it. I got news for you, you don't need it. The stuff that's been around long before this hobby got started is more than good enough. And there was plenty of variety in this. Even before the whole artisan wave just exploded. Just every once in a while you get reminded how unnecessary a lot of these super soap faces really are. How little it actually what what little it actually does for you. Does your skin really need all that skin food? I'm not sure that it does. I'm still going to use that stuff because my bathroom is full of it, but 
don't let these people trick you into thinking you need it because you don't. Well, I've got another couple of nicks, one right there and one right there. But I spent a lot of time on my upper lip, so... I'm hesitant to quickly blame it on the razor and more inclined to blame it on me. Because I have the habit of blade buffing a lot. And I have no intention of changing that. So if uh, a razor that I use uh, can't conform to my shaving habits, well then sooner or later it's going to hit the road. That remains to be seen for this razor. It's too early to tell. Okay, let's have a rinse. Take this towel off the hook there. Normally I bring a towel in here with me to do a shave, and this one is just for wiping my hands, but often I forget to, uh, to bring an extra towel in here. Okay, yeah, I got a couple of little ones that will probably go away and stop bleeding here in a couple minutes. Anyway, let's do the aftershave. How about it? Leah Aftershave Lotion. They do have a balm that you can get on some retailers occasionally. And this has a, a wide open rev limiter, so you better be careful, otherwise you're going to peel out. Oh, it smells great. The aftershave is oak mossier, a lot more oak mossier, <laughs> to be honest with you. And yeah, that is a, quite a generous rev limiter. You're going to get a lot of pour out of that. I almost uh, overdo it quite often when I use this aftershave. Man, is that refreshing. It's got a refreshing, just just a hint of menthol kind of kick to it that uh, that isn't overbearing. It just feels good. I mean, that's that's all that a shave is supposed to be, is just satisfying and refreshing. Yeah, I think I need to work on this razor some more. I still got to do a full review of the, uh, the Supply Single Edge Pro. I'm getting to that, but I got distracted by the, uh, by the Razor Rock Super Slant, which came in the mail quicker than it was supposed to. Okay, my final thoughts on Leah shaving soap obviously i have to give this a soap thing approved because it's been in my shave den for years and it'll probably be the last thing to go if it ever goes at all okay questions comments put them in the comment section of the video otherwise this is soap thing telling you shave like you mean it thanks for watching